Hello everyone, uh, time for a beer review again. It's actually a strong one for change. It's, it's a whole 8%. So this is Yorkshire Stingo by Samuel Smith, a Tadcaster. I don't know what Stingo means. I don't know if it is a Yorkshire thing or whether that's a, a type of beer or what. I, I, as usual, didn't do any research before starting the video. Um, oak. Yeah, aged in oak ale casks, matured for over a year. And I don't know why I bought this, it just sort of looked interesting. I didn't know what Stingo was, so I thought I'd try it. And then there's a pretty cool picture on the back. Oh, camera, please focus. Oak ale casks in the underground cellars at Samuel Smith's small independent brewery. And then there's a load of text. Load of text. Oh, I suppose you can read that if you want to. I don't know. I don't. I haven't even read it myself. Oh, some of the oak casks date back more than a century. Um. So it's the gradually the casks soak in more and more of the character of the ale fermented in stone Yorkshire squares. The Yorkshire Stingo is aged for at least a year, matured in these well-used oak casks in the brewery's underground cellars, driving fruit raisin, treacle toffee, Christmas pudding and slightly oaky flavours before being further naturally conditioned in bottle. So it's, I guess it's kind of like how I use my wok, is that it never gets properly cleaned. It's always got a, a little residue of everything that's ever been cooked in it. And all the food tastes absolutely appalling because of that. It's got a, one of them foil covered caps. You see, like it's posh. That do, you know what it smells like. Like the like. When I worked in pubs, where you you had um, like I don't know something that had been sort of like the floor of the pub behind the bar, or like the the beer the the sort of um, sort of mat things that they have. It's like loads of really old beer. That smell. That's what it reminds me of. And that's that might be the the uh, ancient casks or whatever it is that they put them in. I read that all that stuff on the back, and I didn't really take it in. I didn't really. I wasn't. I didn't really listen to myself as I was reading it out loud. I'll be honest. That's what happened there. I, I ran out of weed, and then I tried uh, smoking leaves, and it it just doesn't work the same. It's kind of makes you. It makes you feel a little bit like you're getting stoned, and then like. 20 minutes later you realise it didn't really and it just makes you feel a bit tired and it gives you a headache so uh, that's how I feel now, a bit like I don't know, yeah what, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to read it again see if I did, really did understand it or not it's got a, a really yellowy head on it and then it's kind of like cloudy it's got a kind of reddy colour to it almost, like like a raspberry red. It doesn't really look like that on the video on, on the viewfinder, it looks kind of brown, but up in the light it's got a real like mm, slightly muddy raspberry pop, strawberry pop kind of look to it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's weird tasting. That's really like uh, fruity. That's almost like a fruit beer, even though it's not. I think it's just the. Yeah, that, that really does taste like. I know it said like raisins and things, but it it just tastes like. Like a fruit, like a fruit beer, like something that's been fermented with fruit. Like plums or something. That's got a really, it's dead sweet though. Uh, 
almost a bit too sickly sweet for me. Even though it, the taste is really uh, intriguing and interesting, it's uh, yeah. I don't think I'd have much of this because it's uh, a bit sweet for me. Nice. <coughs> Shout out to um, Pooh Slinger, I think the username is. Some guy at my work, some someone started work experience at my work, um, and I got back to work because I've been on holiday last week. And they said to me, "Have you got a YouTube channel?" It turns out it's someone someone who has already subscribed to me. What are the chances of that happening? I've got like, I think I've got about five hundred subscribers worldwide out of all the billions of people and then someone ends up working in the same place as me that's crazy I think it's like a crazy coincidence and that open only happened today so uh, cheers if you're watching Pooh Slinger I actually remember on one of your comments you said that your dad made brown ale so uh, maybe I could review your dad's brown ale on the, on a video, that'd be good. Some actual ale made in the northeast, actual brown ale, unlike the Newcastle brown ale, which is made in Yorkshire or somewhere now. Yeah, it's it's actually I don't know. Uh, it's it's so it's it's really like. Oh, it's got. It says it's got cane sugar. Is that a sugar in old beer? I don't know. That seems like a weird ingredient. I don't know. I say it's really sweet, and I normally don't like these sweet beers. Um, but actually, it's nice because it's like there's something that kind of cuts through it all. Um, I think it is that fruity taste, that it, and it kind of. It sort of tricks my head into thinking I'm drinking fruit juice or something. Even though it just, it definitely is a beer, you know what I mean? It's not like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. I need to cut my hair, but um, people, people, it's got to a point where people keep telling me I need to get my hair cut, and like, I don't mind people saying that, but at the same time, it makes me want to like not do it because then I think maybe like if they, someone tells me I need a haircut and then I go and get my hair cut, it's like what if they think that they've got some kind of victory over me by getting me to do something that I was gonna do anyway. So um, I've got to a kind of situation where I want to cut my hair, but there's so many people who have told me that that uh, I I can't do it now because they'll it's like they've won. You know <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't I don't want them people to win, and also I kind of like the fact that it's annoying those people. It's people like in real life, you know, but um. Yeah, I kind of enjoy annoy the fact that it's irritating them enough to tell me to cut my hair, and that also plays a factor. Is uh, it won't annoy them so much, uh, you know. <sighs> my girlfriend included. Anyone who anyone who's in like a long term relationship will know the importance of. Uh, needing to annoy the other person as, as often as possible. I think that is the key to a successful relationship, really. We've been together like 10 or, I think it's like 10 or 11 years now. So there you go, that's the, that's the way to do it. I 
I thought this style of glass would be good for a Yorkshire beer. I don't know why. It kind of makes me think of muck and brass and all that bollocks. Whatever, whatever people from that area say. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely getting sickly, but it's uh, it's got like a really sort of complex taste. It's like you can taste. I don't know if that's just because of what I've read on the back, but it's like you can taste all the all these old beers. And like like I said, it's got that kind of. It reminds me of when I used to work in pubs and the sort of smell behind the bar, which was like there was all beer trays and things, and there was always like beer all over the floor. <coughs> I'm sure I don't know if this is a myth, but when I worked in bars, my shoes always used to not last as long, like they'd fall to bits. And someone told me that it was because of um, when beer soaks into your shoes, it, it disintegrates them somehow. So bar workers, their shoes don't last as long, but I think it was probably just because I always buy the cheapest shoes I can find. But I don't know, is that a true thing? The sh the, the standing in beer all night cause your shoes to disintegrate? I don't know. I don't know why I keep doing that, I just I kind of like to get it up to the camera and you can see a bit more of the red colour I kind of like, like cheers I suppose, I don't know, I don't know just sort of thrust the glass into the camera to punctuate sentences yeah, it, I don't know, I, I can't get the colour right and I also don't know if the, what I'm seeing in the viewfinder is the same as what it'll look like on a computer screen but it does look a mo lot more ready coloured. I can kind of get it a little bit there. See? Yeah. Yeah, the sweetness, it gets to the back of my throat. And uh, it it's not like a bad taste. It just, I wouldn't drink more than more than one of these because I wouldn't want to like when I, by the time I'd finished this I imagine I'd be sick of this, that sort of taste I'd need something a bit more um, a bit more sharp or something to get through it like I don't know or maybe something a bit more bitter mm. but this is definitely something worth trying I would say if you see this give it a go because um, I think it's it's nice and it's strong as well, 8%. I can already, already feel the effects, sort of, when your face starts to feel warm and stuff. Uh, I'm a bit of lightweight nowadays, so... <sighs> Alright, thanks for watching. Yeah, that was de Those last two swigs were definitely a step too far. It was too... It got too sickly by then. Up to then it was quite tasty, but now I need to have like just like a, I don't know, a cup of tea or something to uh, get rid of that sweet taste. Uh, bottle's also got Samuel Smith printed on it. That's a thing. <coughs> Alright. Thanks for watching everyone and see you later.